morning. So it is the day. Yes, it's the day of the concert. Although it's at night, so it's not the day. Oh my gosh, I'm tired. So <laughs> the previous one where you saw me get ready for the first rehearsal, I just listened to a little bit of the first movement. I think I over exert myself because I actually sound a lot louder than I thought where I sat. I think because the piano lid opens up like this to that way and the orchestra is this way, I can't really hear myself as much as it actually is for the audience side. So I have to think about that today when I go to the actual concert place. Yeah, I'm curious what the balance is like because somehow it's a combination of me getting excited, the fact that I no longer have to <laughs> scream with myself or scream into silence. There are places where it only makes sense to play with an orchestra, so I never really had the chance to play at full volume or full energy because it does not make sense for me to do that in my studio apartment. <laughs> I don't even practice with the full lid because it just, it's weird, it's kind of disturbing to neighbors, I think. Right now I'm still kind of recuperating from last night and I don't want to injure myself, so that's why I want to be careful in this morning rehearsal. I've been listening to recordings of this piece for so long and I've been very emotionally attached to it for many personal reasons. This piece, uh, for those who don't know, Brahms wrote this first movement as a reaction to Schumann's attempted at suicide and to put it simply, it's not a happy piece. The second movement, it's written in the honor of Clara Schumann. The last movement, Schumann really gave him a kick in his career. I feel like he had a lot of expectations that he needed to meet and so I hear that in his third movement, a very determined nature. Why am I talking about the three movements? Oh, I mentioned this because there is a strange, ironic comparison between the actual origin of the piece and the composition history and the actual experience of performing it because yesterday we had a lot of fun working with everyone but this piece was not born out of pleasure, you know? So there was this strange juxtaposition. I don't know what to think of that, but I did want to point this out. I look kind of awake. My voice is not really awake. It is eight hours before a concert, I believe. I actually don't remember what time my concert is. Uh, is that 7? 7.30? I think it's at 7.30. See you at rehearsal. I think... Do you want to bring you? Maybe I will bring you. Just because I did get the green light from the orchestra, so... I actually don't know where to enter. My friend, he's new. It's much nicer than yesterday's.
was surprised to be so welcomed by the orchestra. Now I am debating five hours to concert whether I want to just touch the keys a little bit for half an hour. But I'm also really tired. My arms are really tired, so I can't make up my mind for the past five minutes. Congress House is three minutes away. All right, I made my decision. I am going to rest because the longer I debate on this, the more tired my hands are. See you later. I'm here. Whoa. My phone's even more tired than I am. If I stay here and look at the score any longer, I'm just gonna keep psyching myself out. So I think I should stop. I can do it. Oh, I don't like this um lack of confidence. So I have arrived. That's me. So I have 50 minutes, 49 minutes to do my makeup and put on my dress before I walk on stage. To sum it up, there's been a lot of emotions tied with the lead up to this concert just in the past year-ish, just in general. A lot of experiences I've had to gone through to grow and be stronger and somehow I can relate to this particular piece a lot so when there are things that trigger those emotions or when I play this piece it's very easy for me to tear up I already teared up, cried a little bit earlier today because of certain things that trigger those emotions in me so I just want to say thank you for your support yeah, now I'm getting <laughs> teary in a way this uh, afternoon I was telling myself okay I better just let it all out now so I don't get distracted by my own tears when I play in public because I don't like to cry when I play, although it has happened a few times already. don't really want to make this my trend or my thing. <laughs> so yeah, maybe this is me talking out my emotions so they just leave, <laughs> sit here in the dressing room while I go to work <laughs> out there. Hawk Sayana, you missed it. Alright, that's enough vanity. 10 minutes. Do I look like her? <sighs> so I finished. Actually, it's been 45 minutes since I finished, but I went in to listen to the second half, the second Brahms Symphony. Uh, it's over <laughs> and I wish I could play better especially since I got too emotional in the very opening orchestral 2D and then when I began my entrance 
I had a fumble, just not exactly a good first impression. It was a lot of fun and I learned a lot, but also because I know the piano and know the solo element of playing from experience, I felt a lot more comfortable playing solo parts and also the encore. <laughs> so I think somehow it made me realize that I'm really a soloist. <laughs> I hope those of you who came enjoy the concert. Wish I could play better, but I feel like I say this every time, but I just... <sighs> now I know what my issues are, so I hope I get another opportunity to play bombs. It's just a completely different mindset to basically be on a boat rather than being on land. You know, you can't really predict the waves and you are just in it for the ride together with the waters. Now I'm making metaphors, but I'm gonna go congratulate the orchestra. So if I end this, then be kind, keep striving. I hope that I have more opportunities to play for you in the meantime, because my next performance is in November. It's June, so let's see. Got a lot to work on in the meantime, not just in music, but in other stuff like nonprofit and everything. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. No, thank you. Can, may, I, may I call you Lizzie? Or no? Yeah, Elizabeth, Elizabeth or Lizzie, what you? What? Well, thank you for my first experience. Uh, really, Lizzie. this was a pleasure. Yeah. Wow. But so cool. um, apparently no one asked you this before, but why an entire program of Brahms? First of all, I just love Brahms. This is just such touching music and it's the it's the melody and it's the it's the sound, the harmony. I mean when you start with your piano solo, this is just these waves yeah. and the color, he's a, a just magic colors and sounds with Brahms. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you did this program. I'm so glad to we will do it. Yeah, D minor, D major. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was on purpose, right? Uh, I no? just thought it was not on purpose, uh, but I thought uh, I I love this first piano concerto, and I just watched a little bit of some things about you, and thought ah, it's time to make really. It. Yeah, and I thought it's time to because do because I was really Brahms. surprised. I was thinking, why in the world would someone invite me to play Brahms? Because yeah. I'm not exactly a Brahms player. You I know, know. <laughs> and this is this is so great because what what you do with the piano is you you have so wonderful touching sounds, oh, and I just wanted to have this. Uh, with Brahms because you know sometimes Brahms is just played ooh like this and I wanted to have really magic and not like this uh, oh, and I tried yeah. I had some fumbles which I yeah uh, anyway no you were awesome Thank I you. loved it really oh, looking so forward nice. yeah. to the next concert I met people although it is very very uh, dark wait a minute you guys should stand the other way so we face the light. <laughs> Wait. Hi. Hi. Uh, yeah. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Yay. I, I feel less alone and weird <laughs> standing in the middle of the street. But thank you for coming. Thank you. Ashley recorded myself on my phone just in the backstage so it's not good quality at all but I wanted to listen to the entrance to hear how badly I screwed up. It actually wasn't as bad as I thought, it was like three missed notes. Of course I would have liked to play it as well as I did in the dress rehearsal and every other single time that I have played this but sometimes I make mistakes but then we move on. That was just a wild experience that takes some time for me to process everything. Also, it means a lot to get messages from you saying that you enjoyed it a lot. Second remark I wanted to say was, it's just so nice to feel welcomed in your city. So I just want to say thank you for welcoming me. I got to have a little after party kind of, <laughs> just hanging out with a few of you. And then I'm gonna do that tomorrow on my last day. I didn't expect for me to have this like, big social network where I just hang out with people like hang out with you. We're kind of on the equal and I like that because that's the reason why I make these vlogs and why I started to get up with classical it's just so there isn't really hierarchy between the audience and the artist and whoever is in the classical music circle experience so it means a lot thank you